good morning to all of you today i am going to proceed with the next lesson lesson 13 our forest and wildlife our forest and wildlife before going to the depth we should know what is a forest forest is a large area of land covered with trees it also includes smaller plants and wild flowers also many kinds of birds insects and other animals make their home in forest forest are known as natural vegetation it grows on its own without man's effort rainfall temperature and soil determines the natural vegetation of a region forest are a valuable natural resources it provides mankind with a number of products forest have greatly influenced human activities suturin have you got the concept of a forest forest are known as natural vegetation which grows on its own without man's effort there are so many advantages of forest we today depend more on more on forest the advantages of forest are it keep the soil intact and improve the forest environment second it's prevent soil erosion and floods number third it's help in rainfall by capturing moisture in the air forest also provide many things to meet our food requirements like wild fruits nuts and berries forest are a source of timber for house building furniture ship building etc so children the advantages of forest as i given the rest are it supply about 40% of fuel of the world forest supply 40% of fuel of the world many products like gum tanning materials rubber capper are gathered from forest forest also gave medicinal plants and 
herbs. Forests provide fodder for animals. Forests stop the growth of desert. So, in India, forests occupy about 22.5% of total area of the country. So, children, have we gone through? That is the definition of forest and the advantages of forest. Forest can be classified into different types. Here, number one is evergreen forest. Evergreen forest regions have high temperature and heavy rainfall of about centimeters throughout the year. The soil of this region retain the moisture of the rainy season. The trees are green all round the year in this forest. The plants grow new leaves found before shedding the old one are called evergreen forest. So, what is the evergreen forest? The for plants grow new leaves before shedding the old one are called evergreen forest. The valuable trees found in evergreen forest are ebony, teak, bamboo, shisho, sandalwood, and rosewood. The evergreen forest are found in Assam, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Tripura, Western Ghat, and Andaman and Nicobar too. So, in evergreen forest, trees are always green all round the year. Number second is deciduous forest. Deciduous forest. In India, it rains for a few months only. So, rest of the period, the forests are kept in dry. Trees of tree, leaves of tree fall as they do not get enough water. Trees have to survive in spite of the water. So, the deciduous trees are called the monsoon forest. Have you got to read? In deciduous forest, the trees have to depend on the on the monsoon for on the monsoon rain only so they have to survive in spite of the less water the trees are available in deciduous forest teak sal shisham arjun and palash these forests 
are found in Kerala, Karnataka, in Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Urissa, Bihar, Jharkhand, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh. So here, in the deciduous forest, as in India it's rained for a few months, so leaves of trees fall as they do not get enough water. So the trees have to survive in spite of the less water. So these trees are called the our monsoon forest. Have you got children? Now the third number that is coniferous forest. Coniferous forests are found in the highest part of the cold climate region in India. The slopes of the Himalayas and Nilgiri mountains are covered with thick coniferous forest. The types of trees vary according to the heights of the mountain. Deciduous forests are also found in same region at a lowest height. So, these forests are also called as mixed forests. Or in other way, we can call as mixed forest is also known as the coniferous forest. Thorny forest. Thorny forest are sometimes called as desert and semi-desert. Forest. These forests are found in the dry region of Rajasthan, Punjab, Karnataka, Central Maharashtra and Gujarat. Here the trees are scattered, getting less rainfall. Trees are short and thorny here in thorny Forest. Babul, Kikar, Wild Palm, Cacti are the plants of thorny forest. So, children, today I have gone through the lesson Our Forest, the first concept which I have given you just now is about the forest as the forest known as natural vegetation and it grows on its own without man's effort and the forest uh, this, uh, depend on the rainfall temperature and the soil on the natural vegetation of a region and uh, forests are also a valuable natural resource it provides mankind with number of products and it greatly influences the human activities. So, forests have many advantages as given in page number 59. All of you go through properly the forest, what they give us. It keeps the soil intact, improves forest environment and soil erosion helps in rainfall and also provide many things a source of timber in supply 40 percent of fuel gives medi medicinal plants and herbs and also provide fodder 
four animals and the forest are classified into different types that is number one i have given you evergreen forest number two decides forest number three coniferous forest and number four is thorny forest with this i'm going to wind up this topic here the later part of this lesson i will be proceed on the next class before going to the further children all of you go through the topic forest and their advantages and classification of forest too thank you